Singularitarianism is a movement built around the conviction that advanced superhuman intelligence, or a technological singularity, is likely to become reality in the not too distant future and that active steps must be taken to ensure its advantageous effects on humanity. Characterized by their steadfast belief in the plausibility and potential advantages of a singularity, singularitarians are known to dedicate their lives towards facilitating its swift and safe realization. The singularitarian perspective, although often mistaken as purely speculative or as science fiction, is actually a meaningful hypothesis about the future life on Earth. The idea of superintelligent immortal cyborgs might seem implausible at first glance, but thoughtful analysis proves it's worth considering. Originally coined to refer to one who believes in the concept of a singularity, the term singularitarian now often refers to an activist promoting the materialization of the singularity. Singularitarianism is also an ideology favoring human intelligence enhancement as a specific transhumanist objective rather than a focus on particular technologies such as AI. Pioneering thinker in this field, Ray Kurzweil, forecasts that the singularity may happen around 2045 and defines a singularitarian as an individual mindful of the singularity's implications for his or her life. The notion that history is making strides towards superhuman intelligence is not new and can be traced back to Hegel's phenomenology of spirit. More recently, in 1993, Werner Vinge, mathematician, computer scientist, and sci-fi author, suggested that technology could potentially enable the creation of superhuman intelligent entities, which he referred to as the singularity, and proposed that this could present existential risks to humanity. The writings of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute primarily advocate a belief in the emergence of a highly intelligent, self-improving AI system, also known as Seed-8. Dedication to this belief is a key aspect of the singularitarian movement, which maintains that to optimally mitigate existential risk, we should strive to achieve this technological singularity as quickly and safely as possible. The singularitarian philosophy isn't universally accepted even amongst those who support the possibility of a technological singularity. However, the movement, while small, does have some notable followers, such as transhumanist philosopher Nick Bostrom. Its popularity has also been boosted by inventor and futurist Ray Kurzweil, who foresees the singularity occurring roughly around 2045. The singularity is defined as a future era of such rapid technological transformation that human life will be fundamentally and irreversibly changed. This transformation doesn't lean towards utopia or dystopia, but nonetheless stands to redefine everything. From our economic systems to the very cycle of human life, even death to truly comprehend the singularity and its implications on an individual level is to become a singularitarian. Supported by entities like NASA and Google, Singularity University was founded in 2009 with the aim of preparing future leaders for the challenges presented by rapidly accelerating technological change. In the same year, numerous prominent singularitarians attended a conference hosted by the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence to explore the hypothetical potential of self-sufficient decision-making robots and computers and any risks they could pose. A key discussion point was the extent to which robots can achieve certain levels of autonomy and possible implications thereof. The president of the AI has since commissioned a study to delve deeper into the subject. Experts and academics have also voiced concerns about the military use of semi-autonomous robots. Despite the romanticized notion of self-awareness in science fiction, the attendees mainly focused on more realistic threats, such as computer viruses evading elimination or machines choosing their own targets. In essence, the concept of singularity is more aligned with religious ideals rather than scientific theories. Sci-fi author Ken MacLeod characterizes it as the rapture for nerds. A nod to the Christian belief of end times, where the chosen ascends to the heavens, leaving non-believers behind this, leaving non-believers behind this longing for extraordinary transcendence, be it divine or tech-based, is quite comprehensible. As individuals and collectively as a species, we confront significant challenges, including terrorism, nuclear expansion, overpopulation, poverty, starvation, environmental ruin, climate change, resource exhaustion, and the AIDS pandemic. Engineers and scientists should direct their efforts towards addressing and providing solutions to these pressing issues instead of getting entangled in unrealistic, pseudo-scientific ideas like the singularity. Kurzweil, however, refuses to accept the stereotyping. 
He asserts that his singularity projections are inspired by the data demonstrating an exponential growth of computational technology in the past. He also argues that those who oppose his views instinctively adopt a narrow, linear perspective on the evolution of technology.